Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today I am downsizing my full size Pro Art PA602 to this. I will walk you through the six things you need to know when downsizing cases. I'm working on a video comparing the Ryzen 9950X to the Core Ultra 285K, and I need to put the new build inside the PA602. And that's when Asus hooked me up with this bad boy, the Tough GT302. Now, let's jump into those six reasons and why this case is perfect for my downsize. All right, first thing to consider is motherboard support. It's literally the heart of your PC. I have a ProArt Z790 in my current system that I'm moving over to the GT302. And then I wanna throw this guy into the PA602. So both of those motherboards are, are ATX boards, which is, which is kind of the most common. This one's a little bit special because it, it actually can handle EATX from 12 inch to 10.9 inch, which is, which is kind of cool. Your GPU is your next consideration. You don't wanna be like this guy or this guy. It's actually usually the length of the GPU that's the problem. Now this case is pretty neat. It actually supports a length of 407 millimeters, which is way longer than, than even the biggest GPU. Um, you look at Asus's flagship, uh, their, their 5090 Astral, uh, and it's 357 millimeters, same length as their 4090 Strix. But please check your manufacturer's website for the case that you're downsizing to. They should have the max GPU length on the website. Another small GPU consideration is your GPU sag bracket. Now the PA602 came with a built-in bracket uh, to hold up your GPU right in the case. The GT302 doesn't, and so I recommend most GPUs, larger GPUs will come with a, a bracket uh, like this. Just make sure you have a spot where you can install it. This one here has a magnet on the bottom, which is great. And then you can put your GPU and, and rest it right on that bracket. So for this build, I ended up picking up this EVGA 1000 watt supernova power supply, and it's pretty standard ATX size. But if you have a power supply that's bigger than 1000 watts, maybe 1200 watts, 1600 watts, it will be longer. Similar to a GPU, it gets longer the bigger. You have to consider the space inside the case where your power supply is going so that it'll fit with the cables and everything else. You can see here once it's installed there's, there's still a few inches here at the back for cables. Uh, I'll talk there is a, a, a unit here for any two and a half and three and a half inch drives which we'll talk about in a bit but with this thousand watt there is significant amount there's enough room but if it was a longer 1200 600 watt you may run into issues. Two of the things to consider regarding power supplies when you're downsizing is, especially if you're changing uh, power supplies like I am, is getting more extension cables. So, I mean, these are just nice, it literally cleans up your build, has a nice uh, nice look to it. Uh, because I'm keeping the other the other power supply, my, my Thor 1000 watt with the PO602, uh, I definitely need to get some more extensions. And lastly, the older EVGA 1000 watt power supply does not have a dedicated 16 pin or 12 volt GPU power supply built into it. So I did have to go out and buy this Fazgear, 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 yeah, Fazgear. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the description down below. Works great, it goes two A pin connectors up to your, to your 16 pin uh, that'll go directly into your GPU, but something to consider. Okay, back to SSD and hard drive support. If you do currently use two and a half and three and a half inch drives, you may want to keep this caddy unit in or look to see if the case you're downsizing has something like it. In my case, I haven't used any of those drives in years. I'm Pro M.2 and so I will be taking this out, but it is neat that this case does have two spots here and here for two and a half inch SSDs. Next up is a very important one. It's your CPU cooling solution. In the PA602, I'm using the ProArt LC420, which is a 420 mil radiator and fan setup with 3140s that definitely will not fit in the GT302. So I am downsizing. Thank you, Asus, for sending this over to their brand new ProArt LC360. Let me open this up and I'll show you. They have some brand new fans from Alpha Cool that have a metal housing. 
Whew, they're heavy. Here they are. Check these out. They're matte black, stealth, alpha cool. Right, and the housing is all metal. It's supposed to help with resonance. And so, not resonance, but resonance. And so you can have, the fans will spin faster, but not as high of a pitch. So really cool, interesting that, that Pro Art switched from the Noctua's over to this, and I can't wait to hear how it sounds. Now that said, if you are downsizing, I'm going from a 420 to a 360 mil AIO. You may be in the already have a 360 and you wanna go even smaller. I was using a Lianli O11D Mini for a little while back, and it could only fit a 240 mil all-in-one cooler with a radiator. So, I mean, just once again, similar to the GPU size, check the manufacturer website for sizing and compatibility with radiators and fans. Last but not least is airflow. Now, the smaller you downsize into the size case, typically the less airflow you have, the less room you have for fans. I am very pleased to see that this case here has three 140 mils pulling air in from the front and then another 140 mil shooting out the back. And that comes already pre-installed in the case. Pretty cool. Now, and then my plan is to put the LC360 at the top, the top and then I'll have three 120 mils, those alpha cools, pulling hot air out the top. I think this case will be absolutely perfect for testing out any of the new 5000 series GPUs if I can get my hand on one. Last cool thing about this case is that it comes with, I mean, two side, I mean, all cases come with two side panels, but one is tempered glass and one is mesh and they're swappable. So if you want glass in the front, cool, sweet, no problem. You want mesh in the front, awesome. I got you covered. So when it comes to airflow, eh, this case is pretty cool. And there you have it. Those are the six things that you should take in consideration if you are downsizing your case. Is there anything I missed? Please let me know. Please stay tuned to the next one. Thank you for watching.